Jeff Keenan here. Today I'm down in the basement. I'm gonna show off the new EcoFlow River 2. So right now the EcoFlow is plugged into the 120 volt power right into this UPS non-backed up outlet right here. So it's running, it's charged up to 99% and it's pulling about 70 watts running all my internet equipment. Now, what I have up here, let's see, I have a cable modem, 2.5 gig. Uh, cable modem, I have the Ingenious Router Gateway ESG510. I also have a 24 port PoE switch ECS2528 FP. Now if I go ahead and unplug the EcoFlow from the main power, let's see how long a runtime we're gonna get here. All right, so it says six hours right now, it's at 72%, 72 watts it's pulling, right? Um, I'm getting a two hour indication on there now. So in my case, this PoE switch is running a couple access points, this ingenious ECW336 Wi-Fi 6E access point. I'm also running um, Samsung SmartThings, and I'm running this Ruckus R750 access point, as well as a couple IP cameras. So in all this, PoE switch is using about 26 watts. I also have devices. a Synology NAS down here, but I'm powering that off for standard CyberPower UPS so it can shut down in the event of a power outage. So even running all this equipment, my EcoFlow River 2 will run for about two hours. And then it will cut the power, which isn't a problem because this is just network equipment. It doesn't have any hard drives in it. But if you had just a router with a built-in modem and Wi-Fi, then this should run for four, five, six hours. This Delta 2 hooked up to Home Assistant so I can do some smart automations as far as charging off the main power, charging off solar, and I'm going to do a bunch more videos on it, so please stick around. There you go. So the small River 2 can back up your internet connection pretty well. You don't have to spend a lot on a giant Delta 2 or something like that. So I'll put a link to this below. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about EcoFlow Wi-Fi and tech products.